is this is a bit of an off the cuff video because I just did a short on this, which should hopefully be up by the time this goes up. It, yeah, it will be. Um, this is the Scott Pilgrim vs. the World Complete Edition. This is a really, really sick collector's edition. Check out the short TikTok or Instagram reel to find out more about it. But there's a reason why this is actually very special and why this rant will be more of a I really hate the current state of the games industry and most digital entertainment industries, but we'll get to that. So back in, I don't know, where the fuck this was first released? It was like 2014, 15, something like that. I probably should have looked it up. I bought it on Xbox 360 Arcade, and I played a lot of it. I played it with my wife at the time. We maxed out all the characters. We played heaps. Just, yeah, considering the fact that I actually, I play quite a few games, but this game was a staple in my household. About, it's probably about six to 12 months before this was released. I wanted to play it again with, with Reaper, um, who you've probably seen on the channel before, and I couldn't. It had been delisted from the Xbox 360 store. Now, I was eventually able to go through like my previous downloads on my old Xbox and find it and re-download it on my new Xbox. It was a whole thing. It was a pain in the ass. But there was never a physical release of this for the Xbox 360 version. It was only digital which meant that when Universal or whoever it was pulled the rights to it, I couldn't really easily play it, and anyone new couldn't buy it. The only solution to that would have been piracy, which I don't really condone, and I will qualify that now. When you can get a game, and you can buy it, and you can play it easily on, like, Steam, or Xbox Marketplace, or, you know, even, like, Facebook Marketplace, you can get a second-hand copy easy enough. I don't condone piracy. When it comes to this bullshit where you couldn't get it legitimately anymore, what option are you left with? This has happened a lot recently. Like I just read an article the other day where it was I think it was Ubisoft. They're like you have to be comfortable not owning games anymore or not owning your media. And they want to do everything as a subscription. There was an article a few months back with, so I think it was Sony pulled a bunch of stuff from their video store. I want to say it was Sony, but it sounds like an Amazon thing. Either way, and those things that you had paid for and you were owning them, you couldn't use them anymore. So when people say physical media is dead, it should be digital only, as much as I get it, you know, this takes up a ton of space. This, this is not really possible for everyone. I'm very fortunate. I have a games room. I have a house that has the room for it. If you live in an apartment building or anything like that, it's, it's not viable. We don't have video stores anymore. You can't go and hire something and bring it back. Those things are things you can no longer do. So digital makes a lot of sense for a lot of people. If you just want to do something once and forget about it forever, fine. But I can guarantee you, Everybody in their life has seen or played or done something and thought, man, I'd love to do that again, and tried to find a way to do it. Doesn't matter what it is, they've done that. And I'm sure at least a big chunk of them would have been disappointed when they couldn't. And it sucks. In terms of games, this is why I buy physical media. This is why I collect physical media. It's 10 years down the track, I wanted to show it to someone I cared for. A game I really loved that I thought they would like. And I wanted to show them. And the amount of trouble I had to go through to make it work, even though I actually owned that game, it was ridiculous. In 10 years or something, when the PS4 servers eventually shut down, or the PS3 servers shut down, and all the games that were on disc that required a 50 gig update to play that are no, not functional anymore, what choices do you have? Sure, you could probably go and download the update and install that on your system, like sideload or whatever else, maybe. Or are you just stuck with this useless piece of shit that you can't play? That you have paid for? What is the point? Physical media. Complete physical media is what we need. It is something that we should be protecting. A lot of the new Nintendo Switch cartridges are not Nintendo Switch cartridges. They're literally just a download code. 
a lot of collector's editions you buy, like my my Starfield one up there. That was just a code. What do I do when those servers are down? That game I paid an exorbitant amount of money for, I can't play it. All of those games I can play. All of those games I can play. All of the... Well, most of those games I can play. Looking at you, Sims 3. I know I can't play you because you need a code and an online activation. It's the same thing that's happening with, like, Netflix. Netflix was great. It did the Steam thing. It made it easy to get things online properly without piracy. And then it was... And it was cheaper. It was like 10 bucks a month or whatever it was. And you got everything. Sick. Everyone wants that. Everybody like this. Fallout Vegas... No, Fallout 4.gif. Then it was... Well, we can do that. So we'll have Paramount Plus. We'll have HBO Max. Whatever it's fucking called. We'll have Disney Plus. We'll have all this other bullshit. And then the argument for moving away from traditional cable... No longer, no longer made sense because... You had to pay for 10 different services to get everything anyway. And then there's like, oh, well, they're ad-free. They're not ad-free anymore. But they're cheap. They're not cheap anymore. I can buy a second-hand Blu-ray box set for a show I want to watch, and it costs me 20 Australian dollars. Or I can pay 20 Australian dollars for a month of Netflix. Or 20 Australian dollars for a month of Amazon with ads. But I don't own those things. It doesn't make sense. If you are into games, and you are a digital-only guy, that's or girl, or other, cool. I get it. This, this is not viable for everyone. It's viable for me, and I appreciate that because this is something I care about. If it is viable, or even if it isn't, your argument should not be that this is the future. Because even though it unfortunately is, it shouldn't be. Digital-only releases suck. Physical-only releases also suck, because then you're also not going to be able to buy it 10 years from now when it's no longer available, or you have to get some second-hand collector price bullshit. But this is something that should not go away. Collector's editions are sick, especially when they come with the game. Little shit Xbox games are cool when they come as long as they got the game. PC games are cool, even though most of them are now just a Steam key and a DVD case, if you're lucky. All this stuff, for the most part, I can play. I haven't tested all these Xbox One games. I assume most of them work. I assume, well, all this PS2, PS1 games, they were offline consoles. They're going to work. PC, most of these are going to work because they were just PC games. All of those are probably going to work, I think, except for... That one, probably. It's... It's an industry trying to collapse itself. Trying to get as much money from you as possible while giving you nothing in return. Once again, I have nothing against digital games. I think it's an amazing accomplishment. I think it's an amazing thing. People like me who want to release indie games, we could never do this. This is not viable for someone like me. For someone like Rockstar, or... Remedy, <laughs> ongoing lawsuit aside, or EA, or Ubisoft. This is possible. And they don't do it. And when they do do it, they half ass it. There's a Twitter account called uh, Does It Play, where that catalogs physical releases, and if they're actually physical releases, or if they're just a Steam code by any other name. And unfortunately, a lot of them are just... Here's the bare minimum you need to actually come up on like an icon and the rest you have to download. And if you try to run it without the internet or without the download, it just doesn't work. That's bullshit. Anyway, I don't know where I was going with this rant. Physical meter is the way to go. In my opinion, in my life, with my restrictions on room and stuff, this is how I want to do it. If you don't want to do it, or if you can't do it, that's perfectly fine. Enjoy what you can. But when people start saying stuff like, you should be comfortable with not, with not owning your games, then that person should be comfortable with us pirating them, and them getting no money, and them going into out of business. Because that is horseshit. You want my money? Give me a product. I'm going to stop talking now.
If you got all this way, thank you for listening to me rant about absolutely fucking nothing, and I'll catch you next time.